Ashe my god queens and kings Ashe Banabarama said welcome back to my channel you know back to back to back for those who don't know me I am Goku Pierre I don't think I'll ever get tired of making an introduction yeah you know I don't know but I, I don't think I'll ever get tired of saying Kenna Goku Pierre welcome back to my channel please guys don't forget to like subscribe comment down below let's engage let's communicate if you need online consultation please check in the description box where everything that you need on my socials if you want to connect with me on my socials i go live on tiktok maybe soon i'll be going live on instagram follow me so that we can share and connect and communicate and you know if you have certain questions you can ask because when i go live i do actually answer certain questions only the ones that i feel what they are not sacred and they are able to be you know shared i also do dream interpretations on live to assist people by loading a um you know they might not be able to contact me and for private sessions for certain things if you know so yeah as you can see but let's just get into it i feel like i've been blabbering but that's okay and i've also realized that there are people that say what oh, i shouldn't speak my language my um indigenous language um and that's okay i understand why and please don't come for me when i'm speaking i'm speaking english because i'm trying to accommodate everyone and we know english is that language that everyone has to know because it's just the official language that we all speak we all know so yeah i'm just gonna be um as you can see i have a book I, I always have a book because i have a lot of things to write down for you my god queens and kings so that i can share teachings please don't forget to subscribe and thank you guys we are growing we are growing and i love seeing us grow and i love doing these teachings and i love bringing forth certain information to you share this video because you never know who's looking you never know who needs information okay let me stop blabbering and get into the video um as you can see by the title science to show you have ancestral water spirit or basically science to show that you have a water spirit because remember or you are the water spirit you possess within yourself um your ancestors are the water spirit that you are and you are your ancestors and also the water spirit because yeah you're connected to all of them so the first one is dreaming of water okay so dreaming of water means that you are a water baby i love to call them water babies you come from the waters it doesn't necessarily show you the type of water spirit that you are but as you tap in and connect with your ancestors even more and become aware that you're connected to the waters then that is when your ancestors will continue to reveal those kind of things to you but you also need to understand what if you're not eating right you won't see anything if you're not tapping in you won't see anything if you're not connecting you won't see anything but then there are those that already saw the type of water spirit which they possess with in themselves and you know i'm happy for you guys i hope you are aware so this is the first one dreaming of water actually shows that you are a, a water spirit you are a water baby but the waters that you are you'll be seeing are those clear blue ones those beautiful waters you'll just see yourself floating on top of them not dirty waters dirty waters those are no mm -mm. but those pure clean waters the waterfalls you know there are those that see waterfalls and yeah there are spiritual babies but then at the same time they'll also possess another one which i cannot say because it's 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 sacred you know certain information we cannot share but just become aware of if you're dreaming of water being around those blue waters you are a water baby you have a certain water spirit within yourself the second one dreaming of um certain beads and cloth dreaming of certain beads and cloth can also show you the type of ancestors that you have can also show you the type of um ancestors that you you possess within yourself you know there's certain cloth that are connected to the water ancestors which you might find what you have been seeing and you're not even aware of it so i do have um, a pdf file where loading i share information about different types of beads and also share information about what they represent and why they represent those things and where do they come from and why you are you supposed to be wearing them if you need more information about the pdfs please you can add me on whatsapp and then i'll share the pricing list with you and then you can i'll just you know it's just something that i don't have it in hand it's a pdf i can share it on your phone and then you can see it it's mostly connected to ancestral and, and uh, ancestral cloth and spiritual beads so yeah there's certain um ancestral cloth and beads that you can that you can have or that you can be shown and that are connected to the water spirit some of you are not even aware of this but i'm just here to make you aware i get it so let's move to the other one um dreaming of bones okay so oh no, 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 no not the removal of bones i'm gonna cut this one 
a movie i'm already into another one but it's fine okay having um vivid dreams and deja vu i feel like having vivid dreams or deja vu okay let's start with let's connect it together having vivid dreams or deja vu everyone can have vivid dreams everyone can have deja vu but sometimes people who have the water spirit are the ones that actually have this vivid dreams you know these vivid dreams that feel like they're real they can see things that ha happened and then after that those things happen in real life and it doesn't actually feel like deja vu to them but then it also feels like no i've been here before because you are connected to the waters remember what the water spirit is also connected to the prophetic gift it doesn't mean it doesn't mean you're going to be a pastor or, or or do all those things no it's just one of that psychic abilities which people turned into a prophetic gift because they wanted to work in churches and not follow their own callings due to Bazoti Abandu due to being afraid of being judged by the community because remember back in the days people were afraid of the Sangoma people were afraid of traditional healers because they knew what traditional healers are witchcraft doing witchcraft and all those things you know they were just demonizing everything but only to find out or most of the people in our family members ran out ran away into religion knowing very well that them running into religion is actually them hiding their spiritual callings and their spiritual gifts so they're going to perform their spiritual gifts in church and then they turned it into what a prophetic uh, a prophetic being a prophetic thing that is why most of you prophetic people the moment you start to become more prophetic and then you, you start to have your own things your own cloth and then you realize what oh, now now are my ancestors are coming in more even now where are this cloth coming in because they found you they they trapped you in the corner you get me this is what you were supposed to do first before you actually tapped into other ancestral callings so your gift doesn't end there your gift doesn't end in only at a prophetic level no no it doesn't end there it's it it will continue going okay so um yeah so if you're having vivid dreams if you're having deja vu just no worrying it's connected to your prophetic gift it's connected to one of the psychic abilities for you to be able to see things that have happened to see things that might happen to th to see things that were supposed to happen to see things that have already happened because yeah everything has already happened but we are just not yet aware of this thing so moving to the next one again ringing in the ears when passing certain locations so if you have this thing of when you are passing around um oceans or rivers or bridges where there's water underneath and then your ears get blocked you, you feel the sound like your ears are blocking like you're underwater because you have a certain water spirit you are connected to the waters that is why even the ringing in the ears you are experiencing it because of the the i don't want to mention the type of ancestors that they are but all in all i'm just going to say okay they are water spirits okay become aware of that you have water spirits you are going underneath the waters just because your spirit is passing there is that's because your physical your physical body is passing there doesn't mean or your spirit is not going underneath you don't know what's happening to your spirit when, when you are passing there them being blocked what if you your ears being blood blocked is actually you being going underneath the waters just to connect more and do all those things while your body's in the car and it's just passing by and the only thing that you can experience is the blockage in your ears or the ringing in your ears or you feeling like lambunyana so because you are you, you are connected to the waters okay so another one is um opening doors for others i don't know how how this one this is the last one i don't know how this one might be but i feel like it's it's definitely connected to the water spirit you need to understand worry um there's certain people that would come into your life because you are a water baby because they know what when the moment we come into your life you will open up doors for us because you are a water spirit when you are engaging in sexual activities or surrounding yourself with people that are not good for you you are absorbing all those dirty things from them again and then you are giving them off positivity that is why some of them you might find not about popa when they are around you that is why you might find that you give good advices and it works for those people but then when you apply them to yourself it doesn't work that is why you might find or you found someone who didn't have anything the moment you started to be in a relationship with them they started to pop up but when you leave everything crashes down because you are the one who's who's greatening them to be, to be the way they are 
like what so it's very important for you to pay attention to those kind of signs it's very important for you to pay attention to those kind of things because you are a water baby you possess certain water spirits within yourself i'm not gonna get straight into it and jump into it about what's going on with the water spirit hey one two three but then if you feel like you do have a water spirit and you need assistance or you need um certain teachings private sessions with me you can contact me i'll leave everything in the description box where you know we can have um private sessions where we talk about it where you break down and try to understand more about it and then yeah that's mostly um what i have for you today my beautiful spiritual beings my god queens and kings so till further notice um not till further i don't know why i'm saying that but then thank you guys for tuning in thank you guys for subscribing don't forget to subscribe and thank you we are growing and it's beautiful and i love to see us grow continue sharing and informing people about this kind of information because you never know who who wants to know you never know who's going through what and it might be able to assist them i share my god prince and kings